Hey everybody, Brandon Villarola with The Register, and I'm here today with John Gillum, founder and CEO of AI content detection platform Originality.ai, to talk about how Google is losing its fight against AI spam on search result pages. John, thanks for joining me. Yeah, thanks, Brandon. Glad to, glad to be here, and yeah, happy to, happy to talk about all things AI and Google anytime. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so this is something that I've kind of uh, I've written about previously, and I've been keeping an eye on for a while, right? I, I wrote recently about how uh, you know these AI content farms are basically um, gaming Google's SEO system to get to the top of the results, and you know they're not always the highest quality, you know, content, right? So I mean, I'm assuming when we're talking about AI content, uh, as as you were framing it, we're talking about low quality results that are spammy, correct? Yeah. So yeah, I think there's there's sort of AI content, AI spam, and then there's that sort of the spectrum. And there's you know there's I think a, a lot of things in between. Um, mm -hmm. I think what's clear right now is that there's no one that's sort of spamming Google and not doing it with AI. So I think there's not all AI content is spam, but I think mm -hmm. right now all spam is is AI content. Right. Right. And then there's and there's quite a bit of it from what uh, I was reading in the press release that you guys sent over that there was a. Uh, a study that Originality put out recently that found that I think 10% of Google search results were AI generated as of March, right? And uh, and that's after a crackdown, I believe, on AI generated content, right? So is that, I mean, I know we're into, into April now, it's not that much further, but I don't know if you guys are still watching those trends. Is that remaining consistent at that 10% or are we starting to see a rise or a drop? I mean, What's what's the yes. what's the current state there? So we're we're running it every month, so we're really excited to see kind of what's what the the next um, update is going to show in terms of when we mm -hmm. run that study. Um, you know what what we found that was was kind of uniquely interesting was there was the March fifth um, Google update that involved a bunch of manual actions. Uh, when mm -hmm. we looked at the number of websites that were impacted, it looked like Google attacked about two percent of the websites um, that were. Um, monetized through display advertising. So that was sort of how we got our sample of, of sites. And 2% mm -hmm. of them had been um, manually de-indexed, which was sort of a, a more aggressive approach than I'd ever seen Google taking um, at, at a time where it didn't fully become clear onto why they did that until we ran the other study, which showed the amount of AI content and this sort of steady continued rise of, of AI content. And sort of our, our takeaway from that was that, you know, Google's sort of fighting this battle against um, AI spam, did mm -hmm. these manual actions to try and sort of win a win a battle, um, but then seem to still be sort of struggling with their algorithm um, being overrun by, by AI content. Yeah, because I think you said in that release that uh, when pre-GPT-2, there was around like two, two and a half percent uh, of the of search result were AI spam and now like we're, we're above 10. So that's, I mean, I can't remember exactly when GPT-2 came out. Do you know off the top of your head when that? 20, 2020 was GPT-2, 2022 was, was GPT-3. It might have a, my, yeah, my timing basically a little bit not wrong, that but... long, right? We're yeah. not that long and we've seen like a, 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 a massive spike. Um, so speaking of that spike, right? I mean, since you're in the business of, of, you know, publishing tools that monitor and catch AI generated content, right? Uh, yeah. You're probably keeping up on a publishing trends or AI publishing trends. I mean, what have you noticed about the content? Like, as you, like you said, not all AI content is spam, but all the spam right now appears to be AI. So what have you noticed about AI generated content as of late? I mean, is it getting better, harder to catch, or is it still this low effort garbage? Yeah, so I think any low effort garbage is AI generated. I think that right. that's, that's sort of clear. Um, I think people are becoming more, and you know, as technology evolves, people are becoming more nuanced about um, the right usage and where they want to have controls. I think there's a um, an increasing awareness that publishing AI content introduces mass publishing AI generated content introduces a risk to your site. Um, mm -hmm. That Google is fighting an existential threat of if their entire search results are filled with nothing but AI, why would anyone go to to Google instead of just going to the AI? Um, and so I think there's pub publishers are becoming aware and I think the there's sort of these the two paths, which maybe we may call it three paths, but it's like no AI, intelligently using AI, spamming with AI. Those are kind of the three the three options that people are, are generally going with. And I think the mm -hmm. intelligently using AI to answer your question, the quality of the content for people that are intelligently using AI is continuing to increase as increases in sort of Rag or retrieval augmented generated content introduces reduced hallucinations. Um, right, and so I think I think the 
I think those are the three paths. Um, all well, two of them have merits, and then the third one is a uh, is a game that people are playing. Yeah, I mean, it's it's. I mean, and that makes sense, right? That the fact that as AI improves over time, right, the you the proper use of it is more it has more merit, right? So that 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 makes sense. I, I guess that you know it, it it is being used more and it is making more sense. But one of the things that I've also been kind of curious about is this whole like AI in AI out kind of thing, right? Like uh, you know. Uh, these AI engines are ingesting AI generated content. So what they're spitting back isn't that great. And I, and I wrote also about, um, I don't know if you're familiar with the search generative experience that Google's been playing yeah. with where it's that AI generated search results, right? And uh, apparently a lot of these AI scam, con a lot of the AI scam content that's raised into the top of the ser search result pages is also getting picked up by uh, the SGE platform and getting, you know, it's regurgitating these spam links. I mean, do you think we're we're in a situation where you know where even Google right in, in its attempt to fight this right it's still training LLMs on its search results? Are we looking at a situation where the sort of garbage in garbage out situation with AI is just going to explode? Um, I, I don't know. So so I think you know it's it's a it, it's a phenomenal thing to think about that for the rest of humanity the only known human written data sets have been created. Um, right. So any for the rest of humanity, for you know, until the sun blows up or whatever we end, um, the only known um, data sets are are created um, already. Sort of mass mass um, human written text. Um, mm -hmm. And are we going to be in a situation where you know the snake that eats his own tail, um, synthetic right. data, um, is it going to lead to model collapse? Um, I, I think most studies on that show diminishing performance as opposed to total collapse um mm -hmm. and so uh, is that going to be a problem that is going to need to be fight fought by by the large language models and i think that answer is, is yes um do i think controlled synthetic data creation will help them maybe i, I don't know i'm not, not not my area of expertise um but it's it's a yeah i'd say fa fascinating to think about right now and i think there's no question that um AI is, you know, polluting is maybe too aggressive of a word, but AI right. content is polluting data sets and those data sets are being ingested by LLMs and they are reflecting back the, all the previous errors and challenges of, of LLMs. Right. I mean, in, in detecting AI content, right. With your, with your products, have you noticed that there, there are some of these issues cropping up in newer long, large language models? I mean, are you seeing that kind of, those kind of errors? Um, not not being not seeing those errors and being able to trace those back one to one, we are seeing um, a significant awareness of this problem from some of the large language model data set creators who are using okay. um, originality to help identify and remove from their data sets um, AI generated content. Oh, okay, so you, the platform's also being used to remove AI content from data sets. Correct. Oh well, that's yeah. actually fantastic, right? That's probably a, a a good use of this to prevent that sort of kind of snake eating its tail, language collapse situation. So I th I think it is a mitigating step, but I think with all mm -hmm. class all detectors, uh, we have some fault amount of false positives, some amount of false negatives, and right. I think if that if that were to you know enough cycles of that, would we then still be we would need to continue to retrain the model. So I think it's it's a step in trying to reduce that um, corruption of the data set, but I don't mm -hmm. think it totally solves the problem, which, which I think in the case of any sort of data cleansing, you're never going to be in a state where it's like, Hey, we're, we're perfect now. Um, right, we're just, right. we're better. Yeah. Well, gosh, I mean, this is one of those things that I think we could probably ask questions and go around in a circle about for a while, because there is a lot to talk about when it comes to this sort of stuff. Um, you know, uh, but in the meantime, I think we'll probably have to leave it there and see kind of what the future holds and maybe talk about this again in a couple of years to see where we're at. So John, thanks so much for joining me, uh, and taking the time to talk about this today. Yeah, sounds great. Thanks, Brandon. Yeah, excited to see kind of what the what the studies keep keep telling us about uh, about this challenge. Yeah, same here. And you can learn more about this uh, and other AI related content on the Register.